Well, we're on the phone with a uh, legendary uh, former Yankees coach and player Willie Randolph. Also uh, played for uh, the New York Mets, so uh, he kind of had uh, both pieces of the pie and everything. Uh, first and foremost, Willie, I can't thank you enough uh, for taking the time to join me this morning. Oh, it's my pleasure, man. We had some fun talking about the good old game of baseball. <laughs> you, you, you're dang right, and you know, you know, Willie, I'm a, I'm a huge, I'm a lifelong uh, Yankees fan. I've even got it tattooed on my arm. So this is uh, one of the greatest oh, highlights. Serious from- diehard. I love <laughs> it. I love it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, Willie Randolph, you got a you got a book out. It's called The Yankee Way, man. This came out what yes. uh, on the 13th, right? Yes, just came out a couple days ago. Yep, real proud of it. Hey, well, you should be. Now, you've probably had many chances to write a book uh, throughout your uh, storied career, but why was now the right time, and what inspired you to write it? Yeah, good question. Uh, you know, I, I I picked this time to write it. First of all, I'm waiting for another shot to manage. I've had a couple of lean years here where I've had time to really think about it and put it together. But, uh, you know, I, I, I've, I wanted to share with my family, and my family and friends, uh, the fans in the country, Yankee fans alike, uh, you know, just my, my journey, my story, you know, again, we talked about me playing for the Mets and the Yankees. You know, I grew up in New York. Um, you know, I grew up a Met fan, actually, and, uh, and then the opportunity to eventually manage them was special. And then to be one of only eight Yankee captains in the history of Yankee history, again, is another uh, tremendous honor and thrill. So I wanted to be able to sit back and, and, and just kind of reflect on my almost three to four different decades of, of, of New York baseball and, uh, and to try to motivate young people especially young kids, because we're losing a generation of young kids not playing baseball. And I just, when I go back to the old neighborhood, you know, I, I just want to be able to inspire and motivate young kids to understand that you can dream, you can inspire. I'm the same way you are. I grew up in the same neighborhood you grew up in. And if you do education and hard work and loving the game, you can realize your dreams. Kids don't dream anymore, uh, yeah. Frank. And uh, I just wanted to be able to inspire in some way kids to play the great game of baseball and just share my stories. It gave me an opportunity to reflect a little bit. I feel very blessed and fortunate to have this, this run in baseball for so long. So I just wanted to be able to, after not really being out there for years and talking about it, because I've been in the field almost 40 years. So it gave me an opportunity to sit back and reflect and then just uh, put my memoirs together. And uh, it, it's, it's, been, it's been a great ride for me. You know, you're talking about inspiration. And, uh, you know, it, it's uh, Yankees, uh, you know, Unless you're a Yankees fan, you hate the Yankees. I mean, they're, they're, it's yeah, just yeah. it's it's one of it's a polarizing team. But you are always one of those players that was inspirational. Didn't matter if you loved or hated the Yankees. Willie Randolph yeah. was one of those players that everyone loved and respected. And you know that was that was one of the greatest things that I loved about you is the fact that you had the respect of everyone inside and outside of baseball. But Willie, you know, okay, you just briefly mentioned growing up a Mets fan. What was it like yes. being a Mets fan as you grew up as a kid? What was it like to put on the pinstripes? Well, it, it, it was special. It really was because um, you know I, everyone knew about the history of the Yankees and, yeah. and how great they were in, in town. Uh, again, I was a National League fan as a kid, so that's really the reason why I gravitated toward, towards the, the Mets. But, you know, when I was in Pittsburgh, I signed out of high school with the Pittsburgh Pirates. I went to win a ball in 1975 after my third year of, of, of professional minor league baseball. And, and I remember playing on there and having a good time and doing well, assuming that I was going to come to spring training with the Pirates and maybe make the team in some capacity. And I, my mom kept calling me and uh, from, from New York saying, son, I'm hearing all these rumors about you coming to the Yankees. I'm, I'm like, no, I, I've never heard anything about that. No way, I'm, I'm going to be with the Pirates. She goes, no, there's big rumors about you being a, being a trade. So finally, two or three, two or three weeks later, it came to fruition. And, um, and uh, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I actually left Venezuela, came home, uh, you know, signed my first you know, big league contract, and then everything just took off from there. I was just like in, in, in a dream. I just couldn't believe that here I am growing up in the town that I played in, you know, I am playing for the mighty New York Yankees in front of all my family and friends. You know, and uh, it's you know you you definitely you definitely have lived the dream. You're still living the dream and everything. And yes, I still am. And there are many more chapters to be written. Hopefully, man. I'm, and I'm looking forward to all those chapters as well. And then, even though the book is titled "The Yankee Way," there's there's a lot about your time with the Mets in the book, right? Yes. That's awesome, man. That's uh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, a huge... Yes, it is. I mean, because uh, again, we we had some we had the big disappointment in '07 where we collapsed. But, you know, we, we, we had a great run there, and, and I felt like, you know, we turned the team around, the culture of the team. Uh, you know, we, won, we, we, we knocked the, the Braves off their perch after 13 years of dominance in that yeah. division. We finally knocked them off their perch. And then we got one pitch from going to the World Series, 
And my man, Carlos Beltran, who I love dearly, just couldn't pull the tr- spring on that curveball. He couldn't pull the string, man. It, I don't know <laughs> if he was sitting on a fastball or what, but we got one pitch from going back going to the World Series. But, you know, Carlos did a great job for me, and I felt bad for him because, you know, it was a big spot. He had a great year for me, but uh, Wayne, Wayne Wright threw him a, a hellacious curveball, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Well, that's why that's why you play the game, and that's why everybody loves baseball so much because you never yeah. know what's going to happen. Hey, uh, before we wrap up, I know you've got a pretty busy schedule. Uh, one of the most interesting stories I've ever heard about you, and you've had a lot of them, is is about the time that you heckled Derek Jeter at a game. Uh, is that in the yeah. book? And can you briefly tell us about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was actually it was just a couple years ago. Um, uh, I've never really had a chance to really sit in the stands and watch a game. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've, I'm always, I've been on the field almost my whole life. Since 17 years old, I've been almost in baseball. And I've been very honored and privileged to, that, to have that honor. But uh, I told my son, I said, you know, son, uh, let's go to the game today. I don't want to sit up in the, in, in the press box. I don't want to sit in the owner's box. I want to be on the field, have a beer, a hot dog, and enjoy it like a regular fan, you know. And I've always wanted to be one of the bleacher creatures, you know, all those years watching those guys, those kids out in right center field do the roll call and have a good time with the players. Yeah. I just never got a chance to do that because I've been on the field. So I said, let's go to the game today. So my good buddy Mitch Modell got me a couple of tickets right behind the Yankees uh, on deck circle. So no one, you didn't know, didn't know I was there. So yeah. Uh, as he's walking up to the plate for the first couple of innings, you know, I'm trying to get his attention. I call him Jet. Most guys call him Jeet, but yeah. I, I call him Jet. So I say, hey, Jet, Jet. And, and for some reason, he acted like he didn't hear me because I, I thought I was audible enough, but he kept kind of walking up there. So after about the second or third time, he's trying to get his attention. I think it was his third at bat. You know, I just said, you know what? I'm going to, he, he, he hears me. He sees me. So I get up and I go, hey, Jeter. You suck! I just yelled it out real loud, and all the fans in the area were like looking at me, like, "Who the hell is that guy over there?" I mean, how could you heckle Derek Jeter in Yankee Stadium? That's like sacrilegious. Yeah. You know, you can't do that. And then funny, Jeter turns his head around, spins his head around, looks at me, and goes, "Hey, Willow!" He called me Willow. Hey, Willow, you son of a gun! <laughs> and he said, "I knew that was you." And he, I'm yelling at him, and we're going back and forth, and the fans are like. Isn't that, is that Willie Randolph over there? So I actually blew up my spot, right? I couldn't watch the rest of the game because I was signing autographs. Yeah. But Derek gave me a big smile. Uh, he Then he goes up to plate in typical Derek Jeter fashion. It's a line drive double, the right center field for a double. But I said to him, I said, now I can die and go to heaven because uh, I was in Yankee Stadium and I'm heckled Derek Jeter. So I can die to, die and go to heaven now. <laughs> That's a fantastic story. And I know that there are more stories like that. Uh, the legendary uh, New York Yankee uh, and New York Matt uh, Willie Randolph. Man, appreciate you joining us on the phone. I encourage everybody to pick up uh, the new book called The Yankee Way. Uh, I've got it myself and I can tell you i'm going to spend a lot of time with it and uh willie thank you very much for joining us today my pleasure man enjoy the book thanks you guys take care